performed execution by the Romans for criminals. And Jesus endured all that in our place because of our sins. We deserve the cross. We deserve hell. We deserve judgment and all that that means. I know that there are many people that dispute that. People don't want to hear that they're sinners. To many people, it's an offense. The cross is offensive because it directly confronts the evils which dominate so much of this world. One reason that the cross is an offense to people is because it demands, it doesn't suggest, it demands a new lifestyle in all of us. Sin is a disease in the human heart. It affects the mind and the will and the emotions. Every part of our being is affected by this disease. How can we break this bondage? How can we be set free? God helps us break those chains. The Bible says, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things pass away. Everything becomes new. He can make you a totally new person. On that cross, God was laying on Jesus our sins. They not only put nails in his hands, but before that, they scourged him. A Roman scourge was a terrible thing. They took whips, pellets on those whips, and beat a person almost to death. And then they took that cross and made him carry the cross, which was in his weakened condition. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty within Christ had made us free. Galatians 5. But he carried that cross to a place outside of Jerusalem. And then they put nails in his hands. But that was not the real suffering. The real suffering is when he said, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? In that terrible moment, he and God, the Father, were separated. He shed his blood. He surrendered. And the shedding of that blood carries with him. That T. Ross makes our first flag. God's very life. Signing the Declaration there of Independence. There is no other way of Washington except through the cross of Christ. Valley Forge. Washington at prayer. Jesus said, I'm the one that comes in the light. Washington the Delaware. Life. No man cometh to the Father John Paul Jones, Navy Victory. The only the way to the Father. Spirit of 76. Father God. The first prayer the son in Jesus Congress. Christ. And why Jesus? You see that? The He's first the one prayer was born into this world without sin. Only Jesus. But more than that, he was a righteous one. The surrender of General to him, Cornwallis. Clothed in his righteousness. Like in the milk God it's no longer movie. sees your sin. Patriot. He no longer yeah. sees your own heart. The Patriot. He sees Jesus. General Cornwallis. In the Mel Gibson movie, The Patriot. When you come to Christ, you come by the way of repentance. Repent means to change. Thank you, Billy Graham. To change your way of living and turn from your sins and turn to Jesus Christ and say, I'm a sinner. I need forgiveness. And I know that you're the only one. My friend, Wilton, right here. To my grandparents, I'm asking you to put your trust in, in my Christ. grandfather. I'm going to ask you to pray this prayer. Here in Forest Lawn. Sentence by sentence after me. Listen. Dear Heavenly Father, I know that I'm a sinner. And I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you've died for my sins from the dead 
I turn from my sins. I repent of my sins. I invite you to come into my heart and play. I want to trust and follow you as my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. He's alive! I've given my life not to a dead Christ, but to a living Christ. And he's given me a song to sing. He's given me a flag to follow. I have reason for existence. I know where I've come from. I know why I'm here. I know where I'm going. Do you? Chang Lee family. The Tudor family. The Tudors. And as you can see, we are here. legitimate object of government is to do for the people what needs to be done but which they cannot by individual effort do at all or so well for themselves. Abraham Lincoln. 